Hi, today I'm gonna uh, tell you how to do a uh, neck adjustment so that you can have a more comfortable playing. Now, at this moment, you can see that the height of this uh, guitar is, you can see here, the height here for this guitar is about 3 mm. Now for Asia, we like to say 3 mm, but in uh, if you are in the uh, US, it's actually 0 0.120 0 inch, which is quite high. Usually we use mm, it's easier to, to measure. So now it's 3 mm. So how do we lower down the action? Now, first of all, if your string height is quite high, it is gonna affect your playing because when you press the cord, you will feel very painful because you have to use more strength to press it down so you will feel more painful on your finger. Now how do we adjust the string height and how do we adjust the neck? So this is uh, the tutorial for today. First of all, you need to adjust the neck, you need to use, you need to adjust the truss rod. The truss rod is actually here inside. You can see here uh, on this acoustic guitar, there will be a hole here and underneath, right? So how do we adjust it? We need to use Allen key. Now you can you can get Allen key from uh, uh, a lot of places. So these are the one of the Allen key that uh, we are using. So in for but for this case because you can see that the Allen key is actually quite deep inside, so we need to use a long one like this. Long one. Okay. Now, before we adjust the neck, we need to know whether the neck is straight or not. How do we know whether the neck is straight? So we need to use these tools. This is a by steel mag. It's a short guitar scale for acoustic we use the short guitar scale now when you put this in starting from the second fret you can see this by the way this thing are very straight all right so if if it's uh, if the guitar is not straight you can immediately see from the gap You can see there's quite a bit of gap uh, under the ruler, right? Yeah, there's a gap. You can see that there's a lot of gap there. So we need to straighten up the neck first before we do anything. Uh, this is one of the way how we can make the action lower. Now, How do you adjust a truss rod on the on the guitar neck? Now, when the when there's a lot of gap on the neck, right? It looks like a bower, right? So, when you slide this Allen key, you need to turn clockwise. When you turn clockwise, you are making the bower straight up. When you turn anti-clockwise, you are making the straightened neck to have room to bow all right so clockwise is to make it straight anti-clockwise is to make the neck have the bow some guitarists they don't like the neck to be too straight because it will cause the guitar to bust because string vibrates if you play the jumping thing Strings work in that way, it's turning this way, so the, at the center, it needs more room to vibrate, right? If your neck is too straight, there's no room for vibration, so the string will get buzzing. So that's the idea. So you do not want to have a super straight neck on an acoustic guitar, you want to have a little bit room for the string to vibrate. So to do that, but for this case, because the bower is too much, so we need to straighten up a bit. So we use Allen key, slide it in. I mean, by the way, this tool is very uh, handy because it allows me to slide it in and turn, right? 
to turn it clockwise so usually I turn a quarter then <coughs> I need to check again if the neck has been straightened so keep che checking so it still have then we turn again Okay, now the string is straight. Uh, please take note that up to this point, I haven't tuned up the guitar string yet. Okay, now that I already tuned the guitar, I will check again the neck. seems to be very straight you can come here and have a look so the neck is very straight there's no more it's just a little bit of gap so which is just nice for the string to vibrate then check the height again the height you have to measure it from the 12th fret You can see now it's actually under 2 mm. Just now it's 3 mm, now it's 2 mm, right? Which is nice for finger style. So now this is how you adjust the neck. But the last step you need to check whether there's any buzzing or not after you lower down the neck. So the best way to test whether the guitar has any buzzing is to check one by one, right? seems to be fine. Let's play some chord. So this is how you adjust the neck. And I can feel really comfortable now playing this guitar. So I hope you learned something. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, press on the bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notifications. Thank you.